Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon. RimWorld Alpha 9, I am still loving this dining room area. Obviously it's a little bit excessive, you know what I'm gonna do? It's a little bit too excessive, it makes, it's a little bit too crowded too. So what I'm gonna do actually is deconstruct this. Um, I still think it'll look fine, even without that there. If anything, it'll probably look even better because it'll look less crowded. So let me go ahead and do that. Now, we also want to start doing some, uh, making some beer. I want to see what that's all about, so we might as well give it a try here. So, uh, brewery. I guess we'll place this next to the butcher area more than likely. See what's up over here. Um, we are not cooking meals over here yet, and we probably should start. So let me turn this bad boy on, and let's go ahead and deconstruct this over here. Now, the only downside with this is that the, the cooking process is going to be a little bit more delayed now because she has to cook over here run and grab the stuff from the freezer and then come back, so that's going to be a little bit annoying, I'm aware, but, you know, so be it. So, let's see here, we're going to deconstruct this over here. That's going to be online now, so deconstruct that. We also want to deconstruct the butcher table because um, we have one over here set up. Alrighty, so we'll deconstruct those things over here. This is still frozen, correct? Frozen won't spoil, perfect. Alrighty, so that's being done with over here. What are you guys doing up here? Are you just hauling? Hauling the steel? That's fine. Keep doing that then. And everything else looks pretty good. So this needs to be built. Now let's consider, meanwhile this is actually happening over here, meanwhile you are going to spoil in 3.5 days. That's perfectly fine. You guys will be consumed by then. Um, we have nine meals stored up. Where is my, um, my cook as a matter of, oh you know what? Since that's done with, we haven't set up the, um, the, the bill for that so <laughs> meals won't be getting cooked. Because of no mom, basically, um, none of the bills are set up. Now, can we increase up to fine meal? I mean, what's the difference here? I, I rarely ever do this, but um, work amount required 10 raw food. Okay, so that requires 10 raw food. What does the, um, the other one require? Fine meal. 5 and 5. So this requires meat all the time, which is something that we don't have. We Actually, we do. We have some frozen... Um, Meet over here. We can start hunting, too. I guess we might as well start hunting. Sure, why not? Um, let me set somebody as a hunter. Zyvegard the Scientist, you are... How are you as a hunter? Five? What if I said Macaroon? Not really crafting anymore, really. So yeah, we'll get Macaroon to be our hunter. Alrighty. What is down over here? That's eh, just some silver. I guess we'll get that hauled in at some point. Alrighty. So Macaroon, what are you doing? You are hauling wood. Once you drop that off, you go back to... Um, well, you go... You start hunting. Hospital bed should build. Yeah, let's get the hospital bed up and running. Whatever happened to the, um, the, the fucking, the, the thing that you put on the floor and it turns stuff into soil? I mean, did I just miss it completely? I mean, I was looking for it a while back, but I couldn't find it. Power? Production? Nutrient base dispenser? Yeah, I don't see it. It's weird. If it's here and I'm missing it, then, you know, fuck. Falcon being Falcon, I guess, but yeah. See, I don't, I don't see it whatsoever. You had to re, you had to um research it before, if I'm right. Poor mood, meat pants. What's wrong with you? What's your problem? Uh, in darkness, wearing tattered apparel, urgently hungry, very tired. I mean, tattered apparel, gear. Uh, Devil Strand, good, good, eleven percent. Oh, really? Gonna complain about that shit? Oh, I gotta get you some good clothing. Okay, I guess. Um, 15%, 11%, and then you have some 47% pants. So, you want a jacket and a shirt more than likely, huh? Alrighty, well, do we have a, a jacket and a shirt for you? This is actually even worse than the one you have. So, I would say no. You know what? If this is still technically outside, isn't it degrading? Because there's a roof over it? I would imagine this is still fucking degrading, right? Because all of this looks to be like in really, really bad condition. I mean, did, it, did we get it this condition? I don't remember. I mean, but I mean, all the clothing seems to be really, really bad. I is this like, because there's no roof, it's still considered outside? I mean, if so, how do you trade? Can I still put a roof forward and trade? I wonder. Let's see, is there any... There's a comet supplier nearby. Come over here really quickly, okay. So I see that. I mean, Sivegar, I'll give you a room pretty soon. Let me go ahead and orders. Let's see here. Remove no roof region. Okay. Um, that's not going to do it. Oh, it is going to do it. 
Wait a minute, so only this has to be? I am confused. Let me try this again. Zive, let me have you talk to this comet supplier. And the armor vests aren't are under the roof, and I can send the armor vest still. Well then. I've just learned a lesson. Apparently, all that stuff was still considered outside. I'm a little bit upset about that, but so be it. Let's make you a dedicated hauler without meat pants, then. That is going to be your, your journey, your task over here in my colony. Alright, you Bruce over here deconstructing this stuff. Food is 3.3 days. Wrap some food there. There you guys go. That's what I want to see. Yeah, use the different chairs. So that's what they're there for, for you to use them. Alrighty. So we're going to have homeboy over there hunting. Macaroon, there he goes now to hunt. I want to see this happen. Hunt away. Where, where, why don't you just hunt nearby? Why go really, really far? You need to tie yourself out, my man. Poor mood. Meat pants. Oh, yeah, you need some clothing, right? Well, I'm, I'm sorry, dog. Everything over here that we have is about to break down, too, because I wasn't aware that, you know, even with the no roof, it would still count against me. Quality normal. I don't know. You have to hang out with that tattered clothing. I can't tell you. I mean, I'm not going to make clothes for you right now. I mean, I probably will soon once we make the next workstation, which you probably should do now. So... Pythos, as soon as you're done, I need you to get the fuck out of here so I could uh, deconstruct that and make this area. Oh, you know what? I Let's do this. Let's actually start setting up the the power grid that we're going to probably need over here. So there you go with that. And we're also going to floor this out. Research screen. Alright, so you're done. I don't really care about building a ship right now, so we're done with this. Let's go ahead and deconstruct it. Pythos, you are back on job duty. So no more researching for you. Give me a hand with this stuff as usual. But, um... You're a good miner, and you're a good constructor, and that's kind of what we're working on right now, so let's have you do that. There you go. And this could be essentially turned off now, too. Uh, we got what do we have here? A group of pirates. Drop us nearby. They will prepare for a wild and attack. Where is they at? They are up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dudes. And they seem to be properly equipped, too. We have some charge rifles, shotgun. They have some armor of some kind, charge rifle. Silver charge rifle. Okay. Um, is anybody out here? Especially specifically my hunters that I'm worried about. No. Good. So uh you guys are what the fuck are you guys doing out here? Are you just hauling right now? Yeah, you guys are still hauling. Let's um forget about the hauling. Let's have you come and come back inside. I want to set up for this defense number one. But alternatively, the other thing I wanted to do is fuck these trees are still here, huh? What what happened last time with our defense was that they were actually hiding behind here and, and the doorway. I want to keep that from happening, so what if we did... You know, the only way that's going to not happen is if you put, like, either some rocks here or a sandbag so that they're forced to get the fuck out from there. So what if we did... Bam. And bam. And what this will do is that they won't hide over here. And they, they, they have to come inside to actually fight us. They can't just post up outside and just pay, take pot shots at us. So I think that's what's going to work out. So we'll place this really quickly. Come inside. Um, I need some builders to work on this really, really fast. And we also should probably get these up and running because we have to wait for our controls to turn those on. Macaroon, you are not to be hunting anymore, my friend. You are hunting monkey, which is right there where they're at. So... No can do. You come inside, hang out over here. Um, you guys are free to do stuff in here, just not specifically come over here and grab that. So, let's see, let's free you up. And then let's free you guys up as well. Uh, Macaroon, let me just have you not hunt for now then, how about that? We'll get you back to hunting pretty soon. Just give me a hand with the constructing if you can. Okay, so, do that. Um, what's his name? Zivesgard hasn't necessarily been equipped yet either. Who's actually eating raw food right? Uh-oh. Don't tell me. Oh, fuck. I didn't. Uh-oh. They're all eating raw food now. That's no good. That is no good. I, I fucked that one up pretty bad. Okay. Um, we have meat though, right? We do have meat. I wanted to use some five meals for a while. So let's go ahead and we'll make like, um... Let's go configure. We want to do it so that we have 20 meals at all times. And do into you have 20 meals. Currently have 0 to 20. And then take to the best stockpile. 
Sure. Which is the only stockpile right there, I guess. Drop in the floor. Oh, you can just drop it in the floor, too. No, take to the best stockpile. And our radius is going to be basically our freezer area, which is right through there. Okay. So, um, I'm sorry, guys. Let me... Here, I'll, I'll do you guys a solid. Let me turn on those survival wheels. You guys are free to have those now. Because that was my bad. You guys could munch on those. I know how much you love them. So go ahead and have fun with it. Oh, they're breaking into assault already. And we haven't set that up yet. Zivesguard, where are you going? No, 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 no. You're not hauling shit right now, my friend. Where is this at? Oh, it's just right here. Nope. And we didn't even set this up in time. The turrets are online at the very least. Francis, do you build? Meat pants, do you build? Constructor is Extina, Bruce, and Macaroon. Okay. Look at you. Come over here. And inside. You don't even have a weapon, dog. You're not a good fighter, or are you? Let's see. Eh, you're not bad. Let's come over here and grab you a charge rifle. Extina, can you actually focus on that? I don't think you're going to be able to build it in time, but let's see if you can. Guys, don't come outside right now, please. Where are you going? Hauling silver? Hauling silver. Silver's going to be the depth of me now. Uh, no. No silver as well. Let me just get you guys ready for the raid. How about that? Francis, you are a melee dude. Let's have you post up. Um, you have your shield on, too. Excellent. Let's have you post up. Um, well, I, I like to just ambush these guys afterwards, right? So what if we just had you come in and just hang out here? Meat Pants, you are also a melee dude. There is another... Let's see, how is your melee? Four only. Come over here and equip this longsword, and there's also another um, shield there for us. Let's see if Xena can build us in time. Oh, she's working on it. Dre, are you going to help me out here? Hauling silver. Oh, fucking, you guys in your fucking silver right now. I know we're poor, but come on. <laughs> we have bigger fish to fry, so Francis, you hang out there. You come over here and do that. Um, you guys need to wake your asses up, too. There's a raid coming, if you guys didn't know. So come over here. Let's meet up somewhere over on this guide. These guys are coming at us right now. Extina, let's um, keep working on the blueprint over here. Do you have some more to actually build? Oh, you could probably build a... What are you doing? Cutting... Oh, you have to cut down the tree as well to make that happen. Fuck. Okay, they're here now. That's not gonna work. Meat Pants, you have the sword now. Grab personal shield. You are ready. Let's have you post up, like, I don't know, behind this tree. Golden Boy. I needed to get you outside to give Francis a hand. Now I'm not sure that's gonna happen, so for now, just post up behind tree over here. Oh god, now they're gonna post up right here, as you can see. I just basically gave them a sandbag area to hide behind. That is such a terrible mistake on my part. Okay, well I feel like an idiot now. Macaroon, how's your shooting? Good shooting. How is your range, though? You could post up back here and still shoot, I want to say, so let's post you up here. Hollow, you have the sniper rifle, so that's not even a big issue. Let's get you behind this tree. Shotgun man, let's get you, like, maybe behind here. Bruce, sniper, so you'll be able to get some good shots. Let's get you behind small little tree over here, I think that'll be good. Doctor, what do you have? You have a charge rifle? Right there is fine. Pythos, you're coming over here with the shotgun. Francis is hanging out over here by himself. If these guys come after Francis, I'm going to have Francis run away then. I was hoping I could just hide and ambush him, but I'm not sure if it's going to work out. Golden Boy, you're going to post up right there, huh? Okay. Extina, we're basically done with this um, building routine. Let's get you behind over this, and then bite those. You're coming with the shotgun there. You are going to just hide behind this tree. Let's get you over here. Okay, here they come. Golden Boy, be very, very careful. As a matter of fact, let's get you back over on this side. Alright, we're getting some shots off already? Good. Okay, we got a pump shotgun blast over here. Fry is about to book it. Perfect. They're not coming after Francis, which I was worried about. Stina, come on. Okay, perfect. So, Francis, this guy's coming over here. Come over here and just melee him. Careful, Golden Boy. Calling his treatment. That will be Golden Boy. Is he going to be knocked out again? I mean, 
<laughs> That's kind of his thing at this point, right? It's his fucking MO. Um, run. Pythos, are you right there? Francis, come on. Oh, we got a knockout. Pythos, be careful, man. Be careful. They're aiming at you now. You might want to actually start fucking off. Oh, come on, Francis. Don't let that guy run off. Francis, come on. Pythos, be careful. All right, Francis, come on, man. Just get some shanks in there if you can. Golden Boy, just get behind this thing over here. Pythos, get behind... I don't know, maybe this bush will give you some help. I doubt it, but we'll see. Come on, they're basically out here just for us to kind of beat up at this point. Francis, come on, dog. Cut me a break here, man. All right, two... We have knockout. Two guys are still fighting us. We need to get this motherfucker who's hiding behind that sandbag. He's basically having the best of times over here. Let's see. Pythos, maybe we could get you to come in here close now. Francis? All right, they're fleeing now. Francis, come on, man. Yeah, good kill, Francis. Now, we have um, Freya coming at you. You come and take care of him. Actually, what do you have? You have a pistol? What's your gear like? Armor vest? Okay, what does Ian have? Pistol? Oh, he's pretty shit, huh? Yeah, let's go after Freya. That might be the better thing for us to do. So, Francis, you come over here. Hopefully, you can't stop him in time. We have two knockouts. Nice. Alrighty. Good job. Good defense, guys. Let's have you... Release... And Golden Boy, release as well. And you guys are needing some treatment, I have to imagine, so let's go ahead and set up a few extra medical beds here for us. Excuse me, not all of them. Set as medical. Medical and medical. Great, we need some treatment, go ahead and get it. Francis, come on, give me that Freya. Come on, come on Francis, we're not done yet. At least Francis needs to be a little bit faster than most of our Oh, never mind. Freya's just fucking booked it at this point. Try over here. Not happening. Pythos, where are you going? You're melee attacking Freya. <laughs> Pythos like, it's not over yet, damn it. Alrighty, thank you, my friend. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and capture some of these guys, and if we can, capture Johnson and Pythos. You come over here and capture Isadora. Good. Another good defense. I love it. Yeah, you don't have to get all crazy and fancy and make, like, these, you know, kill boxes and kill tunnels. I mean, you know, just some proper moving around and you'll do fine. Let's get these guys hauled in. Pistol shoddy. Got a shotgun. Package survival meal. Fine meal. Pistol. Francis, you are free to run off. Let's have you bring in this guy on your way back in, though. And meals are still a problem, but... Hopefully we have little Ada working on it, unless she's asleep. Oh, she is asleep, or little Aya, I should say. Oh, that's a problem, because we have no meals right now. Well, actually, we have eight survival meals, I guess. That could probably work here for now. Alrighty, good stuff. Um, yeah. Hall there is some meals that they did leave over, so there is that. Oh, are we building these on top of the dumping stockpile? We totally fucking are. Did the dumping stockpile get removed now? Oh, it is. It actually is removed. <laughs> Not quite. All right, let's delete this and let's um, rethink about our dumping stockpile now. Uh, dumping stockpile. I guess for now we're going to move you here. Just for now. So we'll do dumping stockpile over here. And this will be for corpses alone. No rotten. Just corpses and human and animal corpses will be fine. This will be preferred. So bring the corpses over here, and then we'll butcher them down. Okay, get him out of here. What is this? Oh, we have a person just joining us. Who is this? this is um, Alex, and he's a teacher. Alrighty, good for you, Alex. Meat pants, what are you up to? You are consuming package survival meal. I prefer it if you just consume this fine meal instead. You know, if you're really hungry. Extina, let's have you... Well, let's get these guys picked up for one. Silver ma There's a silver mace there. Interesting. Cena, you come over here and... Prioritize hauling. And Dre, haul... Prioritize hauling Tigris. Alrighty. 
So find me a leftover over there. Somebody hungry, go and get that one. Little Aya needs to wake up and start cooking. She is. Oh, the hop sting is also done. Oh, she has to do make two trips, though. One for the meat and then one for the, um... Oh, it's no good. It's no bueno. What if we made a temporary stockpile in here as well for food? Like, um, nothing too big, right? Just enough for her to make some meals. Because right now she requires five and five, correct? For the meals, so... This will kind of cut down her trip a little bit. So what if we made, like, a stockpile here, right? And then this stockpile, we would essentially only use, um... We'll make it more prioritized than the freezer food, just because she'll probably use this more often than not, right? And then she'll just be grabbing here and making the food. And then it probably would expire, hopefully, because of that. So let's do, um, what's in here? This is going to be preferred. So we'll make this as important. And we'll do raw food, definitely. So let me clear everything. We'll just do raw food over here. N no human meat, obviously. And... Muffalo meat, venison meat, whatever meat we have. Play it over here. Also the veggies. And then, more than likely, she'll go through that one a lot faster just based on the fact that it's going to be a small stockpile. So let's see how this works out. I want to keep an eye on it. Now, you are hauling Devil Strand. Oh, Devil Strand's coming in. Sweet. Good stuff. Now, is Devil Strand also an expirable item? I imagine it would be, considering everything fucking expires in this game. No, it's not. But it will degrade over time, more than likely. But it will not, um... I don't have to require it, like, I don't have to freeze it, for instance. So that's good. We'll keep the Devil Strand there, because we'll probably make some equipment off of that soon. Because our people are... are our clothes are falling apart, apparently. So, you come over here and strip him. Strip him. And strip him. And this guy, and that guy. Perfect. Now, we have to set up the butcher table as well, because those bodies are going to hang out there otherwise. Butcher creature, and we will do this um, forever. As long as it's there, go ahead and do it. Humanoid corpse, doesn't matter. And this will be your range right here. Cool. Alright, so now she is grabbing meals from here. We need to bring some of this um, meat over here too. So keep that in mind. I guess we should probably... Hmm. See, she's bringing the meat now. But again, it's taking a while for her to make these meals now because of the trip over there. There's food there. It's just um, meat that's not being brought over. So what if we... Mm. Alright, let's do this. We'll do a temporary movement of meat here. And what I want to do is just turn off... Well, the only meat we really do have is off. Yeah, let's just turn this off for now. No meat in the freezer, just to bring it over here. And we could probably turn off the turrets now. Can you... No, you're not a constructor. Let's see, so... Survival meals are being so consumed. Not too happy about that, but so be it. Oh, come on! Oh, no, Extina! <gasps> oh, no, Extina! What did you do? Xena, I need you out of there. I'm sorry, Xena. How did you even do that? I know you're missing a, a part of your lung, not part of your brain, dog. Guys, stop eating raw food. Stop it right now. Just bring the fucking food, uh, the, the meat over there, and she'll take care of it. Pythos, are you a hauler? Yes, you are. Come over here and haul some of that stuff over. Macaroon. Haul some of that over as well. Okay, now let's look at this here. 2.4 days. Yeah, she'll probably cook that in that time. Remember, considering that it requires five pieces of meat every single time to do that, I think we'll definitely be fine with that. And you are bringing corn to that stockpile? Let's just have you bring some of the meat over instead. Okay. So that should hopefully expedite the cooking. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty, so that's not too bad. The only thing we need to do now is actually just butcher down these guys. Maybe giving her a hand wouldn't be the worst thing, like having like two cooks now. Johnson has developed an infection. I don't even know who the fuck Johnson is. Oh, right, right. <laughs> we caught people. Correct. That is correct. We we absolutely did. I'm sorry. I got so, you know, carried away with the whole food consumption here. I forgot about these guys. Um, are you naked, dog? You are. Your melee is fucking redonkulous. Holy shit. I mean, you're terrible at just about everything else, but I kind of want to save this man really, really fast. 
Oh, lords. Uh, get to him fast. Who's my warden? Who's my doctor? Wardens? We have two wardens, and we have some doctors here. Hollow and doctor. Come over here and take care of this man really fast. Where's doctor at? Doctor. Doctor, you're over here. Fuck that. Come over here and... Prioritize wardening him. Somebody turned his light on, too. Okay. Let's get him under control here. You strip him. Excellent. Oh, another person just um, dropped by. Sweet. And that's Alex. We haven't dealt, dealt with Alex. We have a lot of things we got to do right now. Jesus. Let's um, capture this guy first, though. Or female, whatever that might be. Macaroon, what are you doing? You're hauling Devil Strand. Let's wait up on that. Let's have you come over here and capture this individual. Take care of Johnson, guys, please. He is kind of really important right now because um, he's an amazing brawler. Stressed out into the strains. Let's see what his health's looking like here. Oh, you guys need to come over here and take care of him. His infection is going to be pretty bad. In darkness, naked, sick, in prison, sharing a bedroom, pacifist, witness allies, dead, urgently hungry. Ooh, ooh. Somebody feed him, please. Do we even have meals to feed him? Oh, no. Johnson, don't do it this way, dog. Did you just bring him? Oh, you bring him a survival meal. Okay, it's fine. Okay, we're, we're growing our food back up now. Give him... <laughs> Did you just put him in a bed? You're like, hey, get in bed right now. Um, Hollow, you are a warden, apparently. Okay. Well, then. We need to tr um, take care of his um, illness here, though. Let's see. Zyvesgard, can you... Nope. Oh. We'll see if he makes it. Yeah, Bruce is giving him some medical care now, so that's fine. Don't put the fucking meat right here straight up. Who did that? Who's the wise guy over here? Stockpile. Okay, well that's why that happened. This should be clear. Oh, this is only for meals, not fucking just meat straight up. Got yeah, some wise guys over here. Yeah, somebody get that meat out of there. It should be with the rest of the meat. Hollow, can you... Nope, don't consume it. Maybe there's not enough room over here. That could be it. One day before it spoils, 1.3 days, one day, hmm. Well, let's see, if the stockpile is 75 for it, what I want to say is that I think we might only need one for that. So what if we did this? Let's um, consider our options here. Let's go ahead and delete that zone, right? And I just want one stockpile for food, and then the rest of it could go back over there. Now remember, this is a... Um, in comparison to the other stockpile, this one is in the important category. So we could still use this as preferred. Or maybe we can make this normal now. And let's put food back on the equation, except for... Well, human meat should be placed here as well, because um, we'll just move it over to the stockpile when we need to sell it, right? So yeah, let's do that. Let's leave some meat in there. But yeah, bring the rest of it over here. Perfect. And then, yeah, bring the rest of it so it doesn't completely spoil back inside. There we go. And whatever we do need, we can just come and grab. Because, you know, this over here, the rice and potatoes take a long time to expire. It's basically the meat that's kind of the worrisome part here. Which is, you know, probably the best reason why I should probably just continue making the, um... Regular meals as opposed to the lavish meals, or the fancy meals. Either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does me a lot. I hopefully, um... Johnson pulls through over here. And hopefully it gets Zulekia as well. So I will catch you next time.